got a, a nice sweat patch on my back where I've had this thing behind me. Not a sweaty back. Oh my god. Go. Part two. Let's go. I, said, I don't. I'm not sure how long this game is. Oh, this is the next my life. Holy shit. F12. I've been taking pictures of them. How is Demon faring? Are you, are you are you back at work now, Demon? Granted, you're not working right this second, but. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been trying not to use it too much. And hello, Twilight. Um, when I did my, um, I mean, I originally did my back in a couple, it was about four or five years ago I did it for the first time. Maybe, maybe even more than that, about six years ago. And it was, it was, some, it was the most weirdest thing. I mean, how it started, it was just, you know, I was just sitting down on, on the couch, eating like a Chinese takeaway on a tray. And when I stood up, I stood up and it just, my back just went standing up from, and ever since then, I mean, that first time, let's just say I went to bed. When I woke up, I could not move. I I couldn't get out of bed. And it took me about 20 minutes to get from the bed to the bathroom. And, you know, I, it's, you know, I've, it's kind of really weird, Danny. You, you're kind of crawling to the bathroom on your hands and knees because you cannot get up. It's It wasn't a very, it wasn't a good time. If there was, if it would have been anyone around at that time, it would have been really, a really, really weird sight. But ever since then, I mean, it kind of fixed itself in time. I mean, I I saw a quack. I had like a chiropractor. Some guy was working on my back for a bit, um, and it came back to normal. But ever since then, every now and again, it, it kind of I do something and it kind of tweaks it again. And then for a week or so, it would just it just gives me hell. And that happened yesterday. And Ramos is back. Team DRD. Yes. It's it's not often that if a we. A step slow as she approaches the second monolith. It's not often, Rambles, that we see the three of you here at, at the same time anymore. Um, as, of, as of late, anyway. But Demon's got a couple of days off work, so... Makes it a bit easier. Like the previous one, its facade features a few lines of chiseled script. Abby starts to read. Let's do it. The human's machinery ripped the Oblion from the ground. The gods observed and debated their response. The twins, Orr and Ott, swore deathly vengeance on the humans. Their younger brother, List, advocated mercy. A quarrel broke out among the gods. Orr and Ott hacked List down and cast his body across the human lands he had sought to protect. Thereafter, they unleashed a vengeful rage upon the helpless humans. Ruin and suffering spread through all the lands the humans once called their home. Oh, it starts snowing. Wait, you took your picture, Rambos? I'm guessing you did. Oh. She follows the tunnels of the derelict complex downwards. Every step takes her nearer to the heart of the calamity. Yeah, this is a big-ass missile. Um. Vast weapons point to the skies. Abby imagines a defense which had only stoked the gods' wrath further. She envies the gods. They have someone to punish, somewhere to direct their rage. Isaac left two years ago, but the rage burned inside her as much as ever. That's a big one. She's gonna ride it. Above the door is an inscription. It reads, Let us cast the sorrow of loss from this world forever. Oblion grants the wish lying deep inside us. Uriah Joyce, discoverer of Oblion. Above the door is an inscription. Oblion grants. Here we go. Can we open a door? Oh. Oh my god, it was a oh idiot. There was an open in the middle. I thought it was two doors, but it was with a solid thing in the middle. It wasn't. It was open gap in the middle. What a fucking idiot. What an idiot! 
Do not allow grief to sap your strength, Abby. You must resist the gods' cruel toll. I, I don't know how. Parts Wait. of me are falling away. I'm gonna update that. There is always a seed, Abby. A memory that holds what is most precious. Do you remember the old tree? Yes. I passed it earlier. I can still picture it. On clear days, we could see it on the horizon, across the water. You were fascinated by what was on the other side. We spent hours just looking at that far away tree. I hope it lets me walk back out also, because I'm going to go out and have another look. I remember. <laughs> that is my kernel, Abby. The memory in which I can always find myself. Where's my... Where's my buttons? My buttons, man, my buttons! Right. Find what is precious inside. Guard it. Only that will save you from oblivion. Abby repacks her comms unit and resumes her progress. Can we? Can we? We can. You know what? Else? Now you know. Now I know that it's a gap. You can see it as a gap. But I thought that was two doors with a pillar in the middle. And uh, oh my old eyes! But now it looks. It looks perfectly like what it's supposed to be now. Hang on, let me just do that one. I remember. Um. Uh. Where is it? There. Update, uh, I want to update that timed message. All right, okay. Sorry, I had to do it while I was in the top of my mind, as I would have forgotten by later. Um, Funny things, as around most, most of us Swedish retailers of GPUs only sell one at a time. Only one at a time? What, they only let you sell one at a time? Yes, Elswin, it looks like an open door now. It didn't look like an open door before. It looked like a closed door. Alright, there's a button. So they only let you buy one at a time, you mean, Rambos? That's kind of weird, right? We're powering up a generator, it looks like. Oh, okay, we're gonna do them in a specific order, I guess. So that one, that one, then, then the right. So this one, middle, right, left. It did look like two doors, but it looked like two doors that were closed, but, but it wasn't. It was two doors, two big doors that were open. Ah, anti-mining, okay. Uh, no, I suppose it doesn't make sense in in the current age with pe with people so many people using them for mining. Well, it's kind of weird though because most retailers would just let people buy what they want, right? But it's it's very it's I find it I find it good to see a retailer like that though. Um, and what is out there? Look at that, that's a new type of mob. That's that he is a big one. See when push this. Faint indicator lights illuminate a dusty control console. The display blinks with the words, Refuel Required. Okay. Puzzle Master, that was me. The steel door is marked, Fuel Pump Control. A sensor reads, Locked. Senior Personnel Only. Right, so we want to activate this maybe to open this. I wonder if this little guy can beat up this big guy, because I could be, we're, we're probably not going to be able to kill the big guys. He's going to get trounced, isn't he? I'm going to get trounced now. There's no way I can kill this dude, surely. Oh, we can. Dying can. rage torments the guardians' minds. Possessing them scares us. She identifies something of herself in their vengeful fury. 
So we're gonna get fuel for this. Then come back. I got a, a thingy down here. I guess we're gonna we can get this this thing down here to ram this and push us across to the other side, maybe. We aim to ram ram this and this will move across on the um Yeah, there we go. Hopefully we can get back. Abby's comms meter detects a weak signal trace ahead. She tries, but fails to connect. Oh yeah, there's another one on Confused, the bottom to get back. She turns her attention to the crucible chamber ahead. We're going to use the toad to push the different buttons while we're standing on it to um to kind of um navigate around right so he pushes and um, push that one so start on the middle one all right okay one again. Is that going to line up with that? Yeah, there we go, quick. i run up on the next one. Okay. was closed. They was together for a second. But only for a second. I'm not sure if the character can jump. Um... Like that. When you do that one there, like that, maybe I don't know. You can't. I don't think you can. You can't get out of the um, out of the possession until it's finished. So it's not as if you can start doing it, quickly get out of it, and run over there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and stand on the end, just so I'm. I'm gonna stand on this end here. Um. <gasps> you idiot! I'm gonna see if it jumped, but she don't jump. Um. Puzzles, man! We love puzzles! Oh, there, 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 look, what, that, that, that. Okay, so they do go together, you can see. Okay, so we got it. It was for science, Rambles. We died for science. So we're gonna go over here. I'm 
miss out one. We're on to the um, one on the right, right? Oh, right. Is what we're gonna do? We're gonna get down the bottom here. Or what if it's down like that, right? Um. One more. I do like the Rambos, but they can be very they can be very infuriating. I'll put it that way. The bumbling critter has made a refuge of this quiet corner. Within its junk fashion den. Abbey spots a key card of some sort. <gasps> the faded lettering identifies the former owner as nice. Mariah Joyce. Underneath are the words Access All Areas. Alright, so maybe we'll be able to go back and get that um that um pass um the door that was locked we can get in there and now we've got a pass. We're gonna come back on the bridge again. So we can get this guy down here to ram us. To ram us! Oh, back to the other side. <laughs> and then this door over here on the left should open now, I think. Because we've got a car. Abby inserts the keycard into the receiver. The sensor flashes green as the steel door slides open. Go in. We should all get fuel for that thing. Um. So we can't get to that because we've got to get someone to block that. And do we have a big guy we can bring in from the previous level? No, oh, there's no, there's no area up here. There's no like um, totem, so we can't bring anyone in from outside because there's no, there's no totem to to possess them. All right. So we've got to figure out what to do on that specific screen. We'll push this thing up here again. It's gonna say it's still um, buggered, right? Got no fuel. Faint indicator lights. Okay. So we gotta do something in here like this. Um, so there's like a goat in here we can possess. We can't possess it until we can reach that stone. And you can't re reach that stone until because of this ray here, right? So maybe we can push this. As soon as you step on a red, you're dead. Unless we can do it from range from here. Oh no, we was. We it was just enough. Okay, so we turned it on. Okay. Did we mess this up? I think we did. Can we... Is it going to 
can restart that, that room. Yeah, okay. Can we walk down the bottom over here? No. So maybe now, if uh, while we're standing here, if we get him to push it while we're here, we should might be able to run through quickly. Maybe. No. vibrations drum upwards through the facility's steel structure. After a few moments, the display reads, Service Train Refuel Complete. Oh, it's a train that was. One of the displays emits a low light. The words, Deep Sleep Mode, blink across the screen. Abby touches a hand to the visualizer. Repository contains two voice logs. Ooh! Use it, your agile is position tech director. This should have been the most cherished day in our species history. The discovery of the last missing element, Oblion. Many lifetimes had been spent searching for it, but none of our theories could have predicted its power. The universe saved the best until last. Retrieving next log. The Oblion promised us what we so desperately wanted. We could finally cast off our mortality. Our lives would span centuries and millennia. We could attain the wisdom and experience of gods. The temptation was too great. None resisted it. Now the Oblion has brought us here. Punishment. I fear this war will be our species' final act. All logs retrieved. Abby's hands tremble. Each fragment of the disaster brings a terrifying vision closer. Most of the other data is corrupted and relates to something called the Lazarus Project. Abby had noticed the same words earlier in the facility. Okay. The train is there now! The train! It doesn't look like a train here though, but now it does. Now it's got the steam on it. I can see. You can see it being a train. The console display now reads, Refuel successful. Awaiting departure. All right, let's go. Choo choo! Choo choo! The engine's steady hum blankets the vast cabin. So if I can slow train. Again picks up a phantom trace. Puzzled, Abby dials the enclave receiver instead. My scanner has a fault. Picking up a faint signal ahead. Short range. It's... it's not a malfunction, Abby. She knew her father's voice. She knew instantly something was wrong. Uh... The unit 
Lights have a black box mode. Those aren't life signals, they're recordings. If a carrier doesn't survive, the units transmit their internal logs on a short range frequency. His eyes are clogged. A carrier? They could be his. From his final days. Isaac. You will know once you're near enough to decode the contents. I only wanted to protect you, Abby. You hid this. Isaac is gone. Hearing his voice for a few seconds more won't change that. Your grief would have drawn you into the divide sooner, my child. You weren't ready. Abby suspends the transmission. Again, she feels the unsubsiding pain of having something precious forever taken. She thinks of the foolish souls who built this strange place. Wanting to live as gods, free from the pain of grief, mm -hmm. they risk disaster. She wonders if she would make the same choice. I got no idea about it. I've heard, I've heard of complex um, rambles. That's the only one I've heard of. Um, the train's gears grind to a halt. Abby looks around at the ruin of an Oblion mine. Okay, so we got this guy we can control. something with people over here. But we can't control him like this because he's too far away. So oh maybe we can get him to knock that one down the bottom as well. We can go across the bridge. And we go down here look. Maybe something over here we can make to get a bigger circle. Ah, oh, or this guy. Yes. He'll do. We can bring him back and he'll better get him over there. The crates are labelled Tunnel Blasting Kit. Abby searches the area to see if she can scavenge something useful. Hmm. 60 euro cheaper for 1060 in Sweden? And what is that? That I don't know. Obviously we've got to bring that up. There's something on that a lot, you can see it. You can see it. You just can't get to it. We've got to get a big guy in here to stand on that and to lift it up. So if we move that closer, we can... Um not helping us get the guy at the top. I mean, get him to push it the other way, and it will come this way, but what is that's not really helped us at all. Unless you can get it to, maybe you got to push it so it sits on that car, maybe, on that switch. Um, let's come on the other side and hit it from the, the back side. It should go across the bridge. Well, we're standing on the bridge, so we might have to jump out of the way. Um, oh, we can't go that far. I'm gonna go the other way. Oh, 
bring that over here and then that'll get the big guy to come over here. There we go. Now, is he going to be able to come over this bridge? He's going to be too heavy, right? No, he's alright. He's alright. So now we should be able to take this guy over there and get whatever. Oh. And can you bring this over here with him? Over the other side. There's two switches. If he puts it down on there, then that guy's going to come and stand on it. Here he comes. He'll come and stand right on it. I guess we've got to get him to stand on that one. Hang on. Quick enough. I guess this guy here has got to be over there. Then he can you, then he can grab that thing on that on that thing there, right? He's got to get on top of that. Maybe if he puts it over here. Because that's, that's kind of in more in... I don't know. Is that a bit further? That might be a bit further. It might be enough to get there. I hope I pick that up again. There we go. He got unreached out now. That's, that's obviously not what he had to do. Maybe... I'm guessing you gotta do that as the person rather than the um I'm gonna have to reset it, I can't get out of this now. I can't get that guy back. That's gonna redo oh it didn't redo the whole thing, thank god. So we've probably get it got probably ought to get our character on there, and that's enough, rather than getting the mob on there. I'll put him over here and I can get on that thing, stand on the bridge, and then I can get him to manipulate this dude. Or maybe not, because I can't. They're not in the LOS now. Oh, there he is now. Okay. Obviously, I can't get. It's gotta be the. It's gotta be that thing up here, rather than me, because he, I can't reach it. He's the one that can reach it, right? But once he gets up here, he can't get down. Or maybe you're supposed to do it with you up there. With me up here, I can get him back down, right? Maybe. Although, 
Hello, Rod. Although, so what, I'm say, what I would say, though, is what I might need to do is get get my camera. Your character's probably supposed to be on the left. Over on this platform over here. Because then you still have... Let's get my dude. Uh, no. How are you doing, Rod? Don't lift it up there. Get on this as soon as you quick, 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 quick. See, you can't get your character on there once you get up. So I definitely don't need to go over there because you can't get back. Um. I can't see. I gotta move that one first because I can't see him. Three months of vacation, Luna, you lucky bastard. That's a lot of trippages. Alright, so if I get this guy. I don't, I don't know, I don't see how you're gonna do it, because. I mean, this guy's got to be over there to get that, right? But when he's over there, this thing, the lift will never lift because he is, um, he's the only one that can make this, this guy move to lift the lift. Oh. And we still got this dude over here we can bring over, but. There's nothing here we're going to do over here. I don't know. Hello. I think Google just want you to use their own payment system. I think that's what most of these e-tailers are starting to use their own systems. Because this, this, this toad I'm controlling at the moment, he's the only one that can control this crane. So he'll basically just, you can get this thing here, make this guy, big guy, move over, you know, on that one to lift this up, on this one to move that down. But when he's over here, he can't get that to move. So we can get him over there, but he will never be able to come back. You can control this this guy and this guy, and that's it. The, the, the big guy is only moving when we move this crystal, so you've got this crystal down the bottom. Um, oh my god, is that a psycho? Um, the crystal down the bottom, um, if you move the big guy, you can make the big guy walk around, but you can't make him do anything, right? I, don't know. I mean, there's nothing here he can interact with. Um, I mean, you can manually stand in places, but as soon as he... Hang on, that might be what you got to do then. As soon as, as you can get him to manually stand, or as soon as you lose possession, he'll walk back over there. So, hmm. So, I guess you got to stand this toad on that and manually move this guy here to lift him up. Okay, I got it. 
What about? I think. So put it over there for now. So that he goes over there. No, hang on, move it into the middle one so we can get on the lift. Right. Come on. Move it on the middle one. So he gets on the lift. That's what we did before. Make a run for it. Um put it over there and quickly run up to the bridge. Oh, two. That didn't go far enough. We've got to go as far as we can. Alright, quick. And can I actually control this? Can I control that guy from down here? I can't. See, I, you, you can't control him from down here. So what you're going to have to do is um, stand on that and then quickly control him while it's going up. I need to put it the other way, though. And we've, we've fucked it already, because the thing needs to be on the bottom one rather than the top one. So the thing needs to be on this one rather than that one. All of a sudden now, we can actually make it move just by... No, we can move a little bit. It's not going to work like I thought it was, because was. this guy can go over here to drop that down, right? And when you let go, you can quickly move that guy and get him on that platform. Or we can try. Hang on. So if we move, quickly move that guy... No, we can't. we can't. You can't interact with him while you're on the platform. We have to do it from up here. When he's over there, well, I suppose when the platform's down, we'll be able to see him, right? I don't. I think we. I don't think we're gonna have much time though, because as soon as you let go, the, the platform's gonna start going down. It's gonna be very. Have to be very, very quick. All right. So it's gonna be let go of him quickly, grab him, and yeah, look, it's already gone before I can't. You can't see him from here, so the stairs is not a good option. Reset. Oh, it crashed. Damn it! No! I hope that didn't restart back much further. Because that would suck. Hang on, where's the... Um... That would suck if it put us back too far. The human's machinery ripped the Oblion from the ground. Yeah. The gods observed and debated their response. The twins, or... The problem with being on a platform is if you're on a platform and it's at the top, you can't control the big guy down the bottom because you've got no LOS, no LOS of him. left. There he is. Yeah, you got no LOS of the big guy when he's on this top one while you're on that platform if he's at the top. on the bottom because then we can leave it at the top right hey 
Hey, look, he actually managed to get away. Wait, he was... We jacked him onto the edge. We jacked him onto the edge. I didn't know... I didn't mean to do that, but hey, we did. So get on the... Get on the thing. Get him on the thing first of all, right? And then just... Get this guy over here to move it up, and then just gotta quickly move him, move him off as he goes down, right? Um. Well, I should better do it up top. Walk up the top now and control this guy, because at the top you better take him, right? So come up here. Because once this guy goes over here, you won't be able to. Um, you're not going to be able to get him back. But. I so I'm guessing we, we're not going to have to, we're not going to need to be able to get him back because there's no way you can do it, right? I have to do it getting, I mean you've got to try to do it going up because if you do it going down, by the time you control him, this it's already gone past the thing. Um, if we can control him now while you're while he's up there you're like, oh, you can't control him quick enough um, when it's going down if we go out a bit further we can how far can we go out and still see him if we go out further we'll have a we'll have a, a may, might better see him when he's at the top It can't be that way because you can never get it off. You can't you can't control them quick enough. I figured if you do it with a thing on that one, so he always runs back here, then that thing is always gonna be at the top. If you can get that guy over there, that will always be at the top, and you haven't gotta worry about it. T the timing, but it looks like that is not the way to do it. You gotta do it the other one, you just gotta the finicky timing over here. Although saying that, when he gets when this one moves up top, you cannot you can't control that guy. As soon as he gets off that, that bridge. You cannot control him because you got no LOS. So I do not know. I, I don't know how to do it. I don't see how to do this. Um, I don't see how to do it. You can't control him quick enough. And he doesn't walk quick enough. So it's not as if you can do it here and run across because he doesn't walk quick enough. Let's try to um, come back down here and try to catch him going up rather than going down. No, you can't do it. You can't do it quick enough. The ram to do what? Or maybe you can put the ram underneath the lift to stop it from coming down. I guess um, that might that might be. It. Although the ram won't move though, the ram is... The, as soon as you let go of the ram, he's going to run back over here, right, to this, look. This guy. He, as soon as you let go of him, he's going to run into this, and you can't move this thing over here. Or maybe you can now. Like before, when we tried to hit it this way, it wouldn't move. Yeah, it doesn't move that way, so we can walk him over here, but when you let go of him, he's going to come back to this, so he's going to leave the screen. You can bring him over here now, but there's not really much he can do over here. And I said, as soon as you let go, you, we, well, you, you could try bringing it over here. Um, you might better bring it over here. As if you can put the crystal underneath the bridge, I suppose. And have him underneath the bridge, and you can just walk across, because then you can bring him back. 
but you're kind of trying to you're, you're sacrificing the poor little ram because he's um you know you're going to be squishing him let's we'll see if there's any reference to put it on put it on this next screen it should be let's we'll see what it is no there's, there's nowhere for us to put it down so we can we can keep holding it but we can't put it down um So that guy's basically just going to follow us. Wherever we go, he's going to go. But as I said, I can't put it down. Yeah, I suppose you can try to put it down on one of these things. But that's not going to help us, is it? Um, because him being on one of these things is not going to help. Maybe we can get him to lay down on a switch. I wonder how that will work when there's two of them on the same switch. I was hoping to be able to put him underneath there to block the, li the, the lift or something, but no. And is a ram. Can the ram lift a lift up? No, he can't see. The ram can't lift the elevator up on his own. And like the ram over here, if you if we was to move this thing over to there, he will also he won't be able to move that one up either. Um Oh my god, wrong one. Or will it? Is it going to go up enough? Ah, look, you can get it to go halfway. Okay. Alright. So now we can get the um, big dude on the left one. Hang on. We can take him... The crates are labelled. Take him to the top. We still got to get this... This guy over here still has to... Um, Ideally, you need this crystal here, and it needs to be on that, right? Hello, Miss Kendall. Because soon as you let go, you're not gonna. He's gonna start going down, and yeah, this guy has gotta be. That's gotta be on that. Okay. It is a puzzle game, yes. But at least the bridge is there now, so we can. As long as he stays on there, that bridge is there. Um. So that's got to be on that. He's got to be over here. We just walk over there and get it, look. Oh my god! Oh my god! Fuck me, six hours later. What are you supposed to do with it? I don't know! Put it down here? Then maybe he'll go and read it. Oh, it's TNT. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, it says TNT on it. Do we've got to use this guy to pick it up to blow up that? Um... Oh, I get it. You got to put the TNT in the um, in this and get the ram to ram it, and then it will blow the door open, right? So get him to put that in there. Use the ram. And now he'll ram the thing and blow the thing open. <laughs> Go on, mate. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking hell. I felt like that took hours. I know it did take hours, but it felt like hours.
The Guardians seem to be drawn to these mining tunnels. Abby wonders if, deep within their tormented minds, they understand the Oblion's unique power. So, if I come in down the bottom... The only one we control is... We can't control any of them. Oh, we can't, I can't control any of them. I mean... I can't control any of them, so that's obviously wrong. Oh, okay, we can control... We can take him now that the thing's gone, and we can get him to bash him. Or not. No targets! That's, that's a fail, we're fucked. That'd be fucked! Okay, so that wasn't the way to do it. So we've got to kill this guy first, surely. But then we can get this guy to kill... I don't know, we didn't get him to kill anyone. He died before he got there, didn't he? So... Right, so the only ones we can, we can go for are the two here. We can try to go to the one at the top instead, but I don't think we'll get there. I think we'll die before we get there. Let's try it. See if we can get up there. No, he's, he's not going to get up there. Or she's not going to get up there. So you've definitely got to kill this one on the left first. Um... I mean, there's no... Oh, but you gotta dodge the fucking... Of course you gotta dodge the gun in the background. That's absolutely nothing to do with a fire. Of course you have. Right, so we can kill this guy. Can we control that one? We can't. We can only control one character, which is this one. And he can only do one thing, which is try to attack him, because he's got a shield. But he's going to die before he gets there, so... And we're going to be in exactly the same position we was. Oh, he made it! I think this... Oh, this time, that, that guy down the bottom actually got shot that time, so that was... Okay. He actually got shot that time. But I... Hang on, I gotta get... This big guy's got to be the one that stays alive, because... I can kill the big guy, I can't kill the little guy though. Alright. So now we gotta we gotta run and kill him, but we gotta run and kill him without getting in this beam. I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, see the little rampas. I don't think that's gonna happen. We've gotta time it so that he runs as the thing goes back past this, right? I don't know how fast she's gonna run, so let's do it now. Yeah. For some reason, they took the gun out when they died. I think God. Holy fuck balls! I bet these two have got shields. Oh my God! Anyone we can control is him. Take that one and take out the woman's shield down here if I can. I can't take him. Yes, I can. Alright, okay. I can take the one that's closest and get him to walk over there. <gasps> what? Why did we kill him? We killed him last time. Why didn't we kill the big guy that time? We killed him last time.
Maybe because he was weak. Maybe he's, he wasn't weak enough. That might have been it. Because it probably takes two hits to kill them, and we can only probably um, do it with one. So they've hit each other once. So if I go this way now, right? Now he should be weakened, I hope. Yeah, okay. Guardian's dying shriek echoes into the darkness. She takes two hits to kill the big guys. We've got to get one of the other ones to hit him first. From within her satchel, spits out an intermittent beep. The black box recordings are only fragments. The illusion of his presence will only wound you more. I can't explain it. Even an echo, a reflection, is something. The tomb lands of the divide are no place for one distracted by grief. Stay focused, Abby. Stay focused, Abby. I need to keep moving. She needs to keep moving. Abby suspends the comms channel and continues through the mining tunnels. She no longer knows what spurs her for. The promise of the prophecy or the prospect of Isaac's black box logs. Oh! Another monument. Or a monolith. That one's got a bite taken out of it. The hallowed form reminds Abby of a burial site. Again, the object's surface is scarred with a rough script. Take care, Oswin. surged as the vengeful god twins pursued their ruthless justice. The skies darkened with a devastating bombardment spreading ruin through all the humans had built. The vicious guardians of the Oblion were unleashed to rip apart the flesh of the humans. Worst of all, the gods decided to take from the humans that which they cherished most. They took away the humans' ability to learn and understand themselves and their world. The memories of all they had known would slowly be lost. Soon, the annihilation was complete. Oh. The rock tunnels take her back to the surface. The gods have reaped a tyrant's justice that knows no end. The rubble stretches out in all directions. Their brutality is a riddle. Abby searches for an answer, but finds none. What atonement can undo this ruin? She no longer counts her steps. Distance doesn't matter. She knows she is close to something. Yes, we're close to something. So I'm gonna... A charge thing over. So we can get him to ram this, and it'll probably roll over that, right? Do it again. <laughs> Abby notices more sentry turrets ahead. Artifacts of a lost ground war with the Guardians. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in this level here I can control, so we're gonna just dodge them behind them. But look at this one here, it's actually running all the way over to us the rocks. Because we're gonna come over here. How the hell did you get past that? I mean you can't run past it, can you? Because you're gonna it's gonna see you. Even behind here, oh, when it goes behind the rock here, you can see, you can still see it through it. Maybe we just gotta run and just stand behind that. Although it doesn't look like you can. Right there. Oh, you can see you through the fucking rock. I 
mean, that, this, this deer looks like a um, bug, because when it goes this way, you can see it, it's looking directly behind this thing in the hidden area, and all of a sudden it, it's like a blind spot. But the blind spot should be there for definitely for longer. Um, if that makes sense. Hang on, what? You see what I mean? There's the thing, look. Alright, so this is the blind spot, right? This is the blind spot. And like half a, a split second earlier, it's like that. And when it's like this, you can see this thing is looking directly at this rock. There should be a blind spot behind it, but there's none. There's no blind spot at all. And like a couple of inches that way, and there is a blind spot. I don't know, and that, that to me looks like a bug. Because there's no way you can get past that because of that. That looks like a bug. Maybe there's like a very split second where you can you can run. No, if you look, if you look at the right hand side, there is never a point where there's a gap. There's absolutely nowhere on the screen that has a spot where we where you can't um, see, you know, where there's uh, somewhere you can hide. Even these big ones up here, this big one up here, this gun on the right can see directly behind this pillar, this big huge pillar. You can't even come behind here because it can see you. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, that's got to be bugs. I mean, we, I don't think you can walk over, the, the green stuff is water, so I don't think you can walk, walk past that. So going up here is probably not going to get you anywhere. you got to go around this way. you got to walk all the way around the path, you know, around here to the right and back to the left again. It's just misleading because like where are where the characters are standing now? It's in a blind spot and the red, you know, you see the beam actually going over where my character is standing, but you can't. She's not seen, so you they do have. It looks like there is blind spots, but you can't actually see visually see where they are because of the this weird display. I'm trying to see where this stops. If I stand like here. Right on that. Let's we'll see if that's enough. Probably not. <gasps> see, to me, that character, to me, right there, that was in in the blind spot. So I was standing right here. If I move up a little bit more. I stand right here. I can see you. She went. She was totally red, covered in that thing. It's a display bug, isn't it? That's what. That's what it is. It's a display bug. So we got to. You got to run all the way around when that thing is coming to the right. So when this thing goes to the left, we can run that way and quickly run around here. Right, okay. Ahead lies another battlefield relic. Everywhere she looks, I think it's the, the pseudo 3D is a bit confusing to join. 
you know, because you get these like these like two and a half D games, and sometimes a perspective kind of um, messes you up, if you know what I mean. That's what it seems like it's happening here, and it just it's just a perspective is kind of screwing with me a little bit. Bring the goat up from down the bottom, so. Which one of these? I don't know which one of them is going to be the one that's. Um... That one. I can't get to it from up there, I don't think. Maybe we can go on the top. Wait, where's the fire start of the top? But... Oh shit. That's not good, is it? Why did I do that? This one here needs to get a... I can't control that one. This one's gonna shoot me and I'm gonna be dead. I shouldn't have gone down the bottom. I wouldn't mind them killing that guy because then we can we can just take this guy. Oh, I thought I missed that. Minds and hello, Slingshot. Now she understands why they were chosen to guard the Oblivion. In their opaque minds, they know something precious has been taken from them. A thirst for vengeance drives every vicious impulse. So we've got to get a goat and take a goat up top. There's a goat down here, I think. Ah, there he is. We can bring the um the total ray over here to move this thing so he moves. Um We'll move this first and then the big guy can get out. And we'll come up here and and push this bridge. So that big guy can get out. <laughs> yeah, you're probably going to have to tow to move his spawn point around. But he's not going to be able to walk under that hole. Let's go get a toad. Alright, so we take that. And we can bring it bring this over here. And wherever we wherever we put this down is where that guy's gonna go. So if we come put it on this switch here, then that big guy will, will walk down here. And um, stand on there. Can you pick that up as well? I don't, I'm not sure if he can. No, he can't. He can. Okay. Pick that up as well. Yeah, I've, I've had my eye on it for a while. Um, slick. It's one of those games that I think is um, probably not. A lot of people probably wouldn't have heard of it. I would imagine. Down, damn it. I can't stop controlling him until he puts it down somewhere. He can put it there. Right. 
I'm not sure if this guy is going to be able to walk across the bridge. Maybe he can't. Maybe he can't walk across this bridge. We can try. It looks a bit big, doesn't it? Or not, but you can do it. So the second one is down the bottom, so we're going to take the toad back down and um, put the second spawn point on the other button. Um, so pick this one up here and put it on that button. And that should open the gate, or drop the bridge. Where's that? Oh, down the bottom. Abbey scans the terrain. Elevated walkways crisscross the corrosive swamp ahead. Beyond it, she sees the cratered foothills of Nadar Mountain, home of the gods. Home of the gods. Oh, let me just um, 